Hello, and welcome back to the Phalanx Draft League. I am the coach of the Victoria Bells, or Solchai, and this is our week one team builder. So every week for every draft league that I do, uh, I do a little team builder video to kind of explain what my opponent's team is and uh, how I have prepped for it. So, the, without further ado, our opponent for this week is the Cyberducks. And now the Cyberducks team is a scary one. Possibly the scariest in the draft, uh, at a first glance at the very least. Uh, yes, that is Dondozo and Tatsuki. <laughs> uh, so let's go through everything. So Dondozo and Tatsukiri obviously is the big thing. Unaware Dondozo with Tatsugiri. Very difficult to go up against, especially because my team does not have much in terms of speed. Uh, literally, a plus two Dondozo outspeeds my entire team. There's nothing I can do about that. It outspeeds my entire team. It outspeeds my entire team with an adamant nature at plus two. So, I am not doing well in terms of that. However, the good news is the rest of the team is actually slower than my team. And if Dondozo doesn't have the boost, of course it's slower as well. So, basically it's a question of getting through the Dondozo, and if I'm able to do that, I think I should be able to deal with the rest of the team with a lot more ease. Obviously, Skeledurge also having unaware as an ability is big. Torch Song, especially with something like Throat Spray, very, very dangerous. It, it can start to snowball very quickly if it gets. I think it gets Flame Charge as well. It sh it certainly does. So if it gets set up and uh, gets moving, then it's a huge threat. Uh, Rotom Mo, of course can ignore my redirection, get off a powerful Thunderbolt, uh, yeah, etc. Uh, just a very threatening Pokemon for me to deal with. Morgram, of course, is a, a classic screen setter. It's very good value in draft always. It's actually good enough value that it was put up in B tier, and I think it's still a value pick. Uh, I don't think it's worth putting an A tier, but it's honestly just a super good Pokemon. Uh, the one thing about Morgrim is it has to choose between longevity of screens and longevity of health, because it has to choose between the Eviolite and the Light Screen, of course. Uh, we have Glaceon and Avalug. These are actually Snowmons. But unfortunately for my opponent, there's no snow setter on their team, so they have to rely on my snow, basically, week one. <laughs> Is the only way that they can get these two in the right conditions. But uh, ideally, I can take care of them even if they do get into position. Uh, after that, we get Orthworm. Orthworm, of course, can shed tail. It can pass that. Uh, also, just a very solid defensive steel type. 145 base defense. It gets body press as well with iron defense. Uh, the special defense is a bit more lacking. It's a bit more exploitable. Uh, but definitely physically defensive at least. It, it is an important thing to be wary of. Finally, in the D tier, my opponent has Heracross and Donphan, two Gen 2 staples. Uh, Heracross with Guts super strong, Donphan gets every set in the world. Uh, uh, it's got super strong Earthquakes coming off base, one, base 120 attack. For some reason it gets Ice Shard, I don't know why. Uh, but gets just a whole bunch of good coverage because it's a Gen 2 mod, and I mean, they really gave Don Fan a ton of love in this gen just in general with the two Paradox forms as well. Uh, 
and it's something to look out for as a late game potential sweeper, actually decently fast at base 50 speed. It looks like it would be slower, but it actually speed ties with, uh, what's my mod that's base 50 speed? I have one of them. It speed ties with, uh, Beartick and King Gambit, so... Uh, that means if it's running any speed, and I'm not running max speed, it's outspeeding those, basically. Uh, but, so the main things to worry about with this team, this unaware core of Dondozo, Tazugiri, plus Skeleturge, just really makes setup sweeping nearly impossible, just be because of the difficulty of removing unaware mons when you have a setup and, and that just gets ignored. Uh, so, of course, other than that, just standard Dondozo Tatsugiri stuff is to be watched out for. Uh, if it's speed boosting, that's a bit... Uh, scary, but I don't think it will be. It'll probably be attack boosting, which might honestly be worse, just because it already outspeeds everything. Plus two. So, how am I supposed to get around this unaware core is the number one issue. Number two issue, Rotom Mo ignores my redirection, hits a lot of my team pretty strongly. Uh, it hits almost everything for neutral. Uh, so, how can I work around that? Next issue, screens. How do I get around screens? How do I mitigate their effect? How do I uh, try to control everything? Next issue is just how do I deal with the hail core? If they do bring their hail core into my, uh, into my snow, basically, what am I supposed to do about that? How can I kind of mitigate that. How do I mitigate the threat of Shed Tail into something uh, that can just get behind a, a sub and start setting up on me? How do I manage around that? And finally, these two are less of an issue, but still th uh, just important items that I have to be wary of, making sure that I have something to cover them at least. So without further ado, this week's team, uh, we are bringing Indeedee, Armor Rouge, uh, uh, Aboma Snow, uh, Veluza, King Gambit, and Venomoth. Your nicknames, if you know Morse code, you will be able to figure this one out. You might be able to figure it out regardless. It's honestly a very funny nickname, in my opinion. Uh, but let's take a look. Uh, our Ndidi is going to be the expert belt this week, uh, because I want to just get that extra bit of damage from super effective psychics and shadow balls that I, I am going to be using. Uh, it's got protect on top of that, as well as encore, so I can lock something into maybe a protect if it uses it in an inopportune time. Uh, it's very good for 1v1 endgames, encore is. Uh, of course, everything on all of my mons is completely PP maxed, except for Iron Head. Okay, I'll, I'll have to go back and get that. But. Uh, yeah, uh, Psychic just hits everything strongly. Shadow Ball is specifically for the Skeleturge. It should two-shot with my max special attack, uh, Modest Nature. I've also got 196 speed. That is so that I am one point faster than my own armor rouge, uh, which is very important because I want to meet, make sure that my Ndidi is going before the armor rouge. So if Ndidi does end up taking a KO, then an expanding force from the armor rouge would be single target. Uh, Next on the list, we have Armor Rouge itself. Our nickname is Arma the Bat, <laughs> as you all should be aware of Rouge the Bat from the Sonic series. And if you're not, what are you doing? 
We're running Protect Expanding Force, Armor Cannon, and Clear Smog. Clear Smog is my way of... is my only way of clearing Dondozo's boosts. Uh, without Clear Smog, I can't get rid of the boost. It's literally the only method of getting rid of the boost on my entire team. I literally have no other options. Uh, did I not mint this? I must not have minted this. I'll have to do that again in post. But it should be Tibid Nature, Max Speed, Max Special Attack. It needs to be Max Speed in order to outspeed a modest Rotom. Uh, if Rotom is modest, then this will be one point faster than Rotom on the opponent's side. Unless it's got a scarf, of course. Uh, but Armor Rouge, it's just very standard stuff. Protect, Expanding Force, Armor Cannon, and then just the Clear Smog to take care of Dondozo. It's Terra Grass, which also helps take care of the Dondozo. Uh, just having that ability to uh, not worry about the water type moves or the earthquakes even that I've prepped against. It's holding the life orb to just deal some extra damage. Uh, and weak armor is my other cool tech of the week. Uh, because armor rouge actually doesn't outspeed Dondozo, but uh, weak armor will help it to outspeed Dondozo at when it gets to plus two. And how is it going to get to plus two before Dondozo attacks it? Uh, it is a bum of snow, our Hail Mary, <laughs> uh, with snow warning, Aurora Veil, Ice Shard, Leaf Storm, and Blizzard. The Ice Shard uh, into the, the side Ice Shard into Armor Rouge is what we have planned to. And I, I must not have minted anything on this team. I'll have to go back and do that once I'm done with this team builder. At uh, modest nature is what it's supposed to be. Uh, max special attack uh, with enough speed to outspeed max speed adamant don dondozo after its boosts are gone. Or before it gets its boosts, even. Uh, the Terra Grass Leaf Storm actually does something like 60. Well. It does something like 60% before I terrestrialize. When I terrestrialize, it should do 80 to 96% to a plus two Dondozo. So this is my other way to get around Dondozo. Of course, it it being unaware is a double-edged sword for it in this case, because it's also unaware of my special attack drops after I use a Leaf Storm. Uh, and then, to the back half of my team, we hit Veluza. Veluza has a really interesting set this week. Uh, I'm running Timid with a decent amount of speed. I don't remember exactly what it outspeeds, but it was an important threshold to hit 127 speed on this thing. Uh, I've got Max Special Attack Timid, and I've got Filet Away Blizzard Stored Power Surf. This is actually my way of getting through Dondozo because I'm running Mold Breaker. And Mold Breaker, if you weren't aware, ignores, completely ignores uh, Unaware. So actually, Veluza will have its boosts accounted for if it goes up against a Dondozo. And the amazing thing, the other cool tech I'm running is Mirror Herb on this thing. It's running the Mirror Herb. Also, it's shiny because I just randomly hatched a shiny while I was uh, uh, breeding for the eggs and I figured, well, I may as well. Uh, so, yeah. Uh, its nickname is Trash C tier because everyone was really saying that Veluza is trash. Why did you take Veluza? Why is this bad mon your first C tier pick after Kaparaja? And 
I am going to prove them wrong, because actually, after I Terra Psychic, uh, a stored power based off of uh, Dondozo's stat boosts, which is a plus two Omni boost, into an Omni boosted Dondozo, one shots. Straight up. It, it, like, even if it's max HP Dondozo, which, why would you run max HP Dondozo in this when you need the speed and the attack for some of my various mons? But yeah, even if it were a max HP, a stored power off of a plus two Omni boost into a, pl into a plus two special defense Dondozo, it still is like 11 and 16 to one shot, which is crazy. Uh, it's got some EVs spread around in HP in both defenses. Uh, the HP is specifically an odd number, if you check. Uh, it is 167 HP, that is so Phileoe does not put me below half health. At least I'm fairly certain that's how it works. Uh, so, next up we have Rui Lopez, uh, who is going to be uh, a very powerful option this week. I've got Protect, Ironhead, Kowtow, Cleave, and Brick Break. We're running the Adamant Nature. Again, the speed on this thing is just enough to outspeed a max speed Adamant Dondozo. And in fact, it's one point slower than a bomb of snow. That's just because it's naturally slower. So I need, I would like to have less investment on this. And I don't need the, I can get away with having a bomato outspeed it using less investment. Uh, so I just have the one point extra on a bomb of snow. So I avoid speed ties and I always know in what order everything is moving. Uh, Protect, of course, Iron Head, Kowtow Cleave, and a Brick Break to get through the screens that Morgrim will most likely be setting. It's also holding a Lumberry, so if I Terra Water, it still can't be uh, paralyzed by said Morgrim. Uh, and otherwise, to avoid a burn from a Rotom. <laughs> if it does happen to be running a Will O Wisp set. And finally, we have uh, what I think is my favorite nickname of the entire group, uh, Venomoth, uh, which is Lepidop blank. Uh, and if you know enough about taxonomy, you can fill in the blank and figure out uh, why I have left that out. Uh, uh, it is holding the Focus Sash. I'm going to be redirecting with it this week, and it is the Water Terra type, so that I can uh, live hits more easily from the Dondozo. Uh, we've got almost max speed, or one point shy of max speed with the Calm Nature. Uh, and <laughs> we're running a funny set of Rage Powder, Sleep Powder, Toxic Spikes, and Acid Spray. Uh, Toxic Spikes is for if I get a free turn with this thing, which I could very easily end up getting a free turn with Venomoth if the Dondozo ends up on the field unboosted. And just getting up a layer of Toxic Spikes is better than completely wasting the turn. It's not like I can Quiver Dance or anything with this set. I want it to redirect. Uh, and we are running... Oh, this is the wrong ability. Uh, I will have to patch that. Uh, we will be running the Wonderskin ability, not Shield Dust, uh, so that we can avoid taunts from the... or so that we can potentially, I should say, potentially avoid taunts from the opposing Morgrim. Anyways, I will get to work actually getting the team really finished for real by minting everything and getting this to the right ability. But as I am doing that, uh, I am also making the final preparations for the battle, and the battle video will not be right after this. 
it will be tomorrow from when you are seeing this, if you're seeing this on the day it goes up. Until then, in any case, thank you for watching, and I will see you around. Bye!